Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading for August. We're going to be looking at what is going on in your connection with this other person. How do you feel about each other and what are their next actions or intentions towards you? As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates and applies to your situation and leave the rest. Feel free to check out your other placements. I have a list of playlists in the description box for every sign. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, insight, please, for Virgo regarding the person they're in a connection with at this time. What do we need to know about this connection between Virgo and the person? This reading will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection. Um, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. What's going on in this connection between Virgo and their person? What's going on between Virgo and their person at this time, Spirit? Page of Wands. What's going on between Virgo and their person? <coughs> Excuse me. No, oh, we got two. Knight of Coin, Page of Wands, Four of Wands. Hmm. Well, I mean, on at first glance, this looks great in the sense of I feel like there's um stability here. Communication, initiative someone willing to take time into this connection or at least take time to to make something happen here we'll clarify and see something to do with the home for some of you <coughs> excuse me some of you could be married to this person tell me about the knight of coin what's this knight of coin about knight of cups Ace of coin, yeah. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Virgo. I don't know what's going on with my throat right now. So with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of coin, I'm getting someone that has an offer here, an emotional offer, an offer that took them a while to get to you. This could be a, a proposal, an engagement here. <clears throat> this could be a gift. Tell me about the page of wands. Page of coin. Well, it's reverse, but I don't really have reversals in this deck. Tell me about the page of wands. Yeah, there's, okay, so between you and this person, there's going to be some sort of discussion, movement here that leads to commitment. Ten of wands. I feel like this took a long time to happen. Um, I feel like someone has been working on this. Maybe they haven't been able to dedicate a lot of time to your connection or they've been, you know, they've had other responsibilities, other things that have kept them busy. Um, but I feel like for most of you, this is just something that took a long time to happen, Virgo. <clears throat> Tell me about this Four of Wands. I'm trying to figure out something because when I see this Knight of Cups, I think of someone who is just very young mentally. I don't know why I'm getting this, <clears throat> but it's almost like Spirit wants me to keep looking here at this Knight of Cups, which is funny because I feel like what's more important is the stability surrounding this person, right? This Knight of Cups, Ace of Coin, Knight of Coin, Page of Coin. This is... This is something solid. This is something that you can count on. So why do they want me to focus on the Knight of Cups so much? Tell me about the Four of Wands. Let's start. Let's just figure this out over here. Why is the Four of Wands? Oops. Ah. <clears throat> why is the Four of Wands here for Virgo? Five of Cups. Why is the Four of Wands here? Knight of Wands. Oh my God, another knight. There's a lot happening. I feel like if there wasn't anything happening in this connection before, there's a lot of movement here. A lot going on. 
I feel like someone might have disappointed you, Virgo, or vice versa. Maybe one of you made a mistake. Maybe there was something that happened in this connection that was disappointing um, with the Five of Cups here. But the Knight of Wands is almost telling me like someone may have rushed something or made like a quick, like a bad judgment call. <clears throat> but I feel like it's it's almost like all of this is making up for that almost. Why is the Knight? Tell me about this Knight of Cups. What's going on with this Knight of Cups spirit? What do you want me to see with this Knight of Cups? What do you... Four of Coin. What do you want me to see with this Knight of Cups? Hmm. Same. Five of Wands, Four of Coin. I feel like this is somebody that's almost like um, apologizing or trying to make something up to you. Maybe they held back their feelings maybe they held back from you maybe they were focused too much on themselves or there was conflict or drama here um something happened and i feel like they're trying to make it up to you with something big <clears throat> like it's like they're trying to prove themselves to you here feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more but that's what i'm getting so let's see what's going on between you what are your energies towards each other here. Like I said, um, Virgo, I'm going to have you on one side, your person on the other. You can flip the energies if they resonate more. Spirit, angels, guides, tell me more about Virgo and this other person. Tell me more about the energies between Virgo and this other person. Tell me about Virgo. What are Virgo's energies in this connection? What's going on with Virgo? in this connection spirit what's going on we're going this connection i wish i could tell you how i feel okay tell me about virgo's person <clears throat> tell me about virgo's person there's so much i wish i could do over again yeah i feel like your person does feel some sort of um regret and this could be something small. It doesn't have to be something big. Tell me more for Virgo. Tell me about Virgo's spirit. What are Virgo's energies? This time, what's Virgo's energy? Secret admirer. Hmm. Tell me about Virgo's person. Someone definitely has hit their feelings here. Acted like they maybe don't care or don't feel what they feel. Breathe in, meditation, healing, rest. This person is reflecting. Um, the far, okay, far apart at the bottom of the deck, restoring balance after that. So there's definitely, I feel, a divide here. Something that needs to be, the balance needs to be restored. Something needs to be fixed in a way. And I think that's why I was picking up that energy with the Knight of Cups. Like almost someone, someone's trying to make something up to you. Can I get one more for this person? Can I get one more for Virgo's person? Okay, restoring balance. Okay. Let me pick. Actually, I want the hidden truth. Oracle. Can you get some more insight, please, into these two? What they're thinking or feeling about each other. Tell me about Virgo's energy. Virgo, is there something that you've been wanting to tell this person that you haven't told them? You are the best thing in my life. Okay, tell me about Virgo's person. Tell me about Virgo's person. I, I left when I saw you with someone. So many things remind me of you. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm getting here with this, with this message, I feel like some of you, um, you still see this person in some way. I don't know if this is online. But I'm picturing like your person, um, like what I'm picturing is maybe they saw a picture of you with friends or something like that and they like X'd out. I don't, I mean, some of you could have physically, I mean, maybe they physically saw you and walked away or left, you know, when they saw you with someone else or, you know, this is someone you work with, for example. But that's what I got when I got somebody that was looking at their phone and they saw something that they didn't quite like <laughs> and they X'd out. Can I get one more? 
One more energy, please, for Virgo and their person. Tell me about Virgo. Vulture. Cleaning up energy here. I feel like you're both kind of in the same boat. They want to restore balance, but you also want things to be fixed in some way. Repaired. Tell me about Virgo's person. The dragonfly. Well, the dragonfly is about perception, illusions, the mind... Let me look at that before because now I'm thinking, was that the moth or the, see, this is why I know some people get annoyed about the book, but in this particular deck, some animals look, this, look the same. Yeah, Master of Light, Illusion in the Mind. Yeah, this is about, yeah, okay, I was right. So this is about um, seeing an illusion clearly, seeing your thoughts clearly, thinking clear thoughts. Um, the, the situation may be different than it appears at first glance. So what I'm getting here with this energy is almost like with this breathing card as well. This person, I feel they've been thinking about you a lot and it's almost like they were thinking about how what led them to make the mistake that they made because I feel this person made a mistake for sure. We'll see. We'll see if we can get more with the tarot here, some more clarity. tell me okay tell me more about Virgo and their person what do we need to know spare about Virgo and their person tell me about Virgo what do we need to know about Virgo's energy The lovers and justice. Yeah, see, balance. So Gemini, Libra energy here. Um, I feel like you you think of this person as someone that maybe there was a strong connection here. Maybe they were soulmate. Um, I'm also getting here a very logical decision. I'm going to clarify to see. But I feel like this is you wanting to make things right. Wanting things to be made right. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Three of Swords. Why is justice here? Yeah, you've been heartbroken. Disappointed. Um, it hasn't been easy for you. Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, things ended. I feel like things ended between you and this person. There you are, Virgo, with the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this was a heartbreaking ending or something that was very disappointing to you whatever happened and I feel like you want things to change to be made right there's the ten of wands again yeah you know I feel like both of you this happened a while ago and you're still both thinking about it and I feel like you've you've both haven't really reached out even though that's exactly what you're both thinking tell me about the lovers why is the lovers here can you tell me about the lovers? Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're waiting for your person. You're waiting for this to be successful. Hang on. You're waiting for a message from them, message back, something like that. I don't know what's going on with my deck. Um, King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You're waiting for this person you love this person um maybe you're manifesting their return you know and it, it's after all of this happened you know after the ending between you but you know i see like you are probably looking at their social media checking up on them and i feel like they're doing the same thing to you <laughs> what 
is going on with my deck? Page of Wands. Okay. So I think you want to talk to this person. There's something you need to tell them that you haven't told them. That's clear to me. Uh, I wish I could tell you how I feel, secret admirer. There's there's some, something you like secretly are holding on to. Maybe you're secretly holding on to this person despite what happened between you. Maybe you'll be willing to forgive them, but they don't know that. <clears throat> tell me about Virgo's person. What can you tell me about Virgo's person, Spirit? What can you tell me about Virgo's person? Strength, Leo energy, and the Queen of Swords. What can you tell me about Leo's person? Not Leo's person. Leo's right here. Virgo's person. Was I saying Leo before I pulled the strength card? I'm going to have to look back and see. Tell me about Virgo's person. Knight of Coin. Yeah, they're the ones that are coming forward um, with whatever offer. And, and I feel like it's to make things up to you here. <clears throat> And I feel like it's a serious offer with the Knight of Coin. Like, they want you to know that they're serious. Tell me about strength. Nine of Coin. Tell me about strength. Two of Coin. They go back and forth, I feel, about reaching out here. And it's, it's weird. It's almost like they check up on you. And if they think that you're single, it's almost like, okay, now's the time to talk to Virgo. <laughs> um, and then they see you doing so well. Maybe they see you looking beautiful or attractive. And it's almost like they lose their courage. You get one more for strength. Tell me about strength. The Emperor, Aries energy. There's okay, so I feel like they, they want to make something. I mean, they want to take charge, make things right. Aries energy. The Emperor, they they are very into structure, very decisive, very strong masculine energy here with the Emperor. Um, I feel like they want to be decisive and strong, and I don't know. It's almost like they want to show you that they've grown, or they want to show you that they they've learned from their mistakes or that 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 balance is very important to them that that getting this all resolved is very important to them maybe they're trying to figure out what to say with this two of pentacles like but i really do see them going back and forth about when they should reach out if they should reach out um you know one day they have courage and the other day they don't Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Nine of Wands. Why is the Queen of Swords here? I feel like when I saw the Nine of Wands, I thought beating themselves up. The Moon is Pisces energy. And the world. So I feel like this person has no idea about the future between you and them. And it keeps them holding on. There's like this like, I don't know, I'm getting this energy of someone who, um, you know, when you, when you have a, um, a daydream or you imagine something, um, dreams are always so much better than reality. And sometimes dreams can last much longer than something in real life. And I feel like this is someone who... There's almost comfort in the fact that they can imagine and daydream and fantasize something with you. But when it comes to reality, they have no idea how that would go. I'm also getting like there's a secret here, something hidden, something they've held back. Um, tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? five of swords i think this is about what happened there probably wasn't closure um they probably there probably was deception here and rest assured they wish they could do it all over again 
I think with this Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, maybe they chose someone else over you. Maybe someone else got in the way here. But I also am getting that you are not so friendly with this person, maybe because of what happened or this is what they think you're going to be like. To, hard to talk to, hard to approach. Tell me about the moon. Four of Swords. Yeah, again, with like, I'm picturing someone daydreaming, thinking, reflecting. That's this breathing card. Um, I think in, in their mind, they're having conversations in their head and, you know, practicing what they're going to say. Um, they have no idea what it is that you feel, I think. So because you've also held back. So I think because they don't know, there's there's in, they, they're very insecure. This person is very insecure. But they want to bring you an offer with this Knight of Coins. So let's see. Tell me about this Knight of Coins. The Knight of Coins takes forever. They take their time. They want to make sure their, their coin is shiny and polished. And a coin that you will not reject, right? The High Priestess and the Fool. Yeah, so they're hoping for uh, a new beginning here. You know, this is going to be a, a risky move for them. Um, this is about taking a leap of faith, starting something new, despite the fact that there's no clarity with the high priestess or that there hasn't been communication here. Ten of coin at the bottom of the deck. I think this is someone's goal. Oh, wow. The ten of swords after that and the ace of swords. So once again, I feel like someone wants to talk about what's happened and what they hope to happen now. It's like they want to clear the air here. What is this person's true intentions or next actions going to be towards Virgo? What are their true intentions or next actions going to be towards Virgo spirit or this connection? What are their true intentions? Next actions. Queen of Wands. Okay. What are their true intentions? Three of Coin. Okay. So I feel like this is someone that's working up to taking some sort of action here with the Queen of Wands. There's desire, there's action, there's a boldness here with the Queen of Wands. Um, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Once again, I feel like this is someone that they have no idea how this is going to go with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, very insecure about the outcome. This is not someone that's sure of your response or sure of how you're going to react. Um, I think whatever happened between you is a big burden here. It was a very painful ending for you both. And I think, you know, someone's been very regretful about that ever since with the Five of Cups. What's behind this? I'm curious. Yeah, balance, Six of Coin. So I feel like this is someone that definitely wants to at least try with the Queen of Wands and the Three of Coin. This is someone that's putting in effort, putting in energy into something, uh, working on something. And I think they want to show you that they mean business, that they are willing to try to work on things. How to convince you, right? How to convince Virgo that I mean what I say. This is what I am pick, pick, picking up on here. Both of these cards are about effort, focus, action, um, doing something. So I don't think it's going to be communication at first. Although I think communication is very important here because <laughs> you both have something to say to each other. We'll see what we get in the extended. The extended is going to be all about where is all of this headed with this particular person, what's blocking this connection, anything that we need to know. So if this resonated for you, Virgo, and you want to get more insight, then check out the extended. It'll be linked in the description box and pinned in the comments. Completely bonus video. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to see more videos from me. If you'd like to say hello or tell me if the story resonated, Feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. To book a personal reading and find out any information that you want to know about the decks that I use, the rings that I wear, all of that information is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching Virgo and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.